Hey, how's it going? Thanks for taking the time out of your day to watch this video that I made for you. I'm going to show you exactly where you are on the internet, how much business you get, how much business your competitors get, and what we can do to get you above and beyond all your competitors and fully dominate the market for you here in San Diego. Okay. Um, what we do is internet marketing and we specialize in search engine optimization. Okay. And I'm, I'm going to explain to you what that is all right that's pretty much what all this video is about um so as you can see we're on my business site um, a company's called amp local all right so you can visit it uh here to learn more information um i just want to jump straight into the video so as we can see we're on your website all right flash junk removal um so 82 percent of the population when they need a service or a product they're going to use google okay whether they need their junk removed their garbage uh they need a carpet cleaned, uh, if they need a limousine, if they have a wedding coming up, if they need to buy a new car, you name it. This is how people get information. It's from Google. Okay. 96% of them are going to click from the first page. Only 4% are going to go to page two. Okay. And that is why business owners today need to understand. That's why you need to understand that we need to get your business on the front first page of Google. That is where the most successful dominant companies are today all right so how do we get you there where you're at let's get started so um, the first thing I want to show you how to find your business okay um, to find you you know obviously someone would have to type in junk removal San Diego or if they're in San Diego they could just hit junk removal Google's gonna know their location okay um, there's many keywords. Okay, junk removal gets about 260 average searches a month. Okay, someone is searching for junk removal with many different combinations of keywords, roughly 8,000 times per month. Seven, you know, 7,500 to 8,000 times per month. All right. So I have all of the keywords here um, to rank your business for. There's so many keywords to rank your business for. All right, junk removal is going to be the most popular one. All right, um, so right here you have your map listings, right? Google map listings. You have to be Google verified to show up in locally in San Diego there. And then you have your organic listings starting right here. Okay, so the ultimate goal is to get you here in the maps and then top three of the organics, okay? Um, and it's easily doable, let me show you. Um, so real quick, I want to show you, this is how much traffic your website gets right now from this organic search okay zero and I'm sure that's not a surprise all right one of your top competitors here in San Diego they're called Fred's junk removal okay they're getting about 320 clicks per month so they're in the ballpark of just over 300 per month okay that's great I'm sure you were thinking in your head wow this can be great for my business okay and it, it can this is huge all right um, and they are ranked they're number one in maps, okay, and they're number four in organics, okay. So they're pulling in a lot of traffic for San Diego. Um, and look at this here. This is the keywords they are ranking for, okay. Their 18% to 19% of their business comes just from junk removal, San Diego. Um, another big one is apparently is mattress removal, okay. People need their mattresses moved. They go move the mattresses or just simply junk removal, okay? And again, mattress removal. So knowing that, that's where most of their business comes from right there. So there, we have the keywords to rank, you know, to take their traffic, bam. All right, so huge. All right, so there's where you're at versus your competitor, okay? I didn't find you, I didn't mention this, but I didn't find you in this search at all, okay? I tried to find uh, your business on, on Google, couldn't find it. <laughs> All right, um, I'm sure that's not a surprise. So I'm gonna get into why I didn't find it and how we're gonna be able to find it. All right, so Google has an algorithm, algorithm and has 200 determining factors, okay? Um, I'm not gonna talk about all 200. I'm gonna talk about four of the very most important ones, okay? Uh, once we nail these, everything else kind of falls into place. So the first thing I wanna talk to you about is being mobile friendly, okay? Uh, 60 to 80 percent of people when they need a product or service they're actually going to use their iPhone or Android okay so you got to look good and Google takes it very serious um, I did do a scan with my 
tool here, you are mobile friendly. So very good on that. All right, so whoever did the website, they kept that in mind, mobile friendliness, and um, it checks out with Google. So very good. I wanted to get out that out the way so we can move on. The next thing, authoritative content. All right, so when we're on your home page, what Google wants to know, are you educating the prospect, the consumer, when they land on the page, are you mentioning um, keywords such as junk removal or mattress removal, all of these keywords that we want to rank for, are they mentioned on the home page in San Diego many times over and over again? Okay, and do you have at least 1,000 to 2,000 words on the home page? Okay, that's very important. You need to have authoritative content. So it looks like you have maybe uh, two to three, maybe 200 words total. Okay, so we've got to add more content. Let me show you what um, authoritative content looks like. Let me back this up. So I went to Google and I Googled elephant. Okay, just bear with me. All right, Wikipedia is number one. They're notorious for being number one because of their authoritative content on these kind of searches, okay? So look at the information on elephants they've got here, all right? Their habitat, what they eat, the evolution, everything, okay? This is like 50,000 words, okay? I just want to give you an idea. That's kind of what it, want, what it has to look like, um, but it's going to be relevant to junk removal, okay? And we're, we will, I will build out the content um, to help get your website the content it needs, okay? So that's two things. Third thing, all right, business listings. We also call these citations, okay? These are very important. This is how we get our product and our business out on the market, all right, for people to see. Um, and this is how you get ranked in the Google Maps, all right? Uh, you have a 72% error rate, and why is that, all right? The business name, address, and phone number have to be identical on all the platforms with accurate information. If not, Google's going to slap you down, and you got to be listed in all these things, okay? The very first thing is you're not Google verified. You're missing a listing. So this is huge. This is the very first thing we got to do to get you in the maps, okay? And looks like your phone number is different here on Facebook. You're not listed in white pages, okay? Some various discrepancies. This is the top 50 in the country, but there's thousands. And over time, we want to get you listed in hundreds and hundreds of these, okay? So this is very important to get in maps. All right, next, uh, I want to talk to you about backlinks, okay? We also call these influence pages. So say you have a client, you pick up trash, you took care of their day, you made their day wonderful, there are no more junk, right? Um, and they have a website or they write blogs. So what's going to happen is they're actually going to write an article and mention your website on their website or blog. So anyone reading that can click the link and now you have a new prospect, but most importantly, Google sees this as a vote, okay? Uh, Google is a popularity contest. The more votes you have, it's like running for president. The more votes you have, the more likely you're gonna win the presidency, right? The most likely you're gonna get the top spots, all right? So uh, with these votes, uh, it gives you that popularity. So right now, what's happening is so referencing domains is, means there's one website, okay, on the internet somewhere right now that's mentioning you six times. Okay, that's not a bad start, okay? That's like the, the starting phase right there. But this is what's really hurting you too, the trust flow. This is the quality of these domains, okay? Let me show you some numbers. This is where you're at. This is the trust flow meter, okay? You're at right here, bare bones, quality of their backlinks. Okay, let me show you where your competitor Fred Junk Removal is. He's got 34 websites mentioning him 249 times, okay, and his trust flow is 31, which is off the charts. Okay, it's up here somewhere. Now, you're probably looking at this and you're like, man, what, what am I going to do? So, what's great about my company is we have unlimited amounts of high quality websites to link your business to. All right, so these we've purchased these websites, and uh, they were very high quality. They they had they hold a lot of value, and we've written tons of relevant content to any niche or client we may have. Okay, and we can link your business to, and all of the ones that we have are thirty and plus. Okay, so eventually over time we're going to link you to more and more of these pages with a very high trust flow, and you will beat your competitors, okay, and get more traffic to your website, all right, and that's how it's done, simple as that, all right, so that's it for the website analysis, um, I hope all that made sense to you, um, real quick, 
I didn't show you this. Uh, if you're ranked number one, you get about 35%. If you're number one in maps and organic, that's cornering up to 70% of consumers looking for a junk removal company in San Diego. All right, so that's huge. Uh, so this is kind of what the chart looks like. Again, if you're not on page one, which ends at number 10, it goes to number 11, which starts at page two, you're getting barely nothing, okay? Um, so again, I appreciate the time you took to watch this video. I hope everything ma makes sense for you and your business. Um, I'd love to partner with you and help grow your business. Uh, so you have my contact information. Um, here's my website. You may visit that to get my e my uh, business email. You have my phone number. Um, please give me a call. I'd uh, love to talk to you and start moving forward with your project. Again, thank you for your time. All right, and you have a nice day.